Hello everyone, my name is Kevin Schrock and I'm an instructor at NIU. Today I'm going to be walking you through how to submit a PDF file to your Blackboard account. You're going to want to do this on your mobile phone, it will be the easiest, so take a moment, grab your mobile phone, and then come back to this video and you can follow along. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to the App Store, which is either going to be the Play Store if you're an Android or the Apple Store if you are for iPhone. And you're going to want to look for your Blackboard app. So go ahead and type Blackboard into the search there. And you're going to want to download the Blackboard app. It's an incredibly useful app that if your class uses Blackboard, it's going to allow you to interact with files, view announcements, and as we're going to see soon, submit homework. It's going to download onto your page, but we're going to need one more app to complete this. And this is going to be our PDF scanner app. So let's go back to the Play Store. And I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Scan. It's a free software that you can use to take pictures from your phone and then submit them as a compiled PDF. So one PDF document for your entire homework. Once you have that downloaded, you can open it up. And you're going to see a screen like this. It's going to be automatically taking pictures of any of the papers that you put in for your camera. So you can see that it has some intelligence where it recognizes exactly where the borders for your homework are. And then you're just going to be flipping through the pages and allowing this to scan. If you find that it's having difficulty with the auto scan, you can click the button at the bottom that looks like a circle and that will take a picture of it for you to adjust manually. And if you find that any of the photos taken are incorrect, you can adjust where the edges for your document are by moving the circles and the rectangles at the edge of those blue lines. When finished, click the bottom right hand corner of your screen where you'll view your pages. You'll then be given a preview, which you can see here, of your assignment. You're going to want to make sure that this is legible. This is an important step. Make sure that you can see all the details of your work. And if you need to make any adjustments, you can go to the bottom where it says color and you can choose whether you want to upload it as just a picture or if you want to have the software do some adjustments to grayscale or auto color. But it's up to you to make sure that all of your work is visible before you save and submit this document. You can give it a name by clicking at the top center. I recommend something like homework or quiz put the date, and then possibly your last and first name. You're going to see that the file name is going to change at the top there where it now says my last name, and then you can click the top right to say save PDF. This is the screen you want to see to show that it has been saved onto your mobile device and that it's now ready to be uploaded to Blackboard. So let's go to Blackboard. And you're going to want to log into your university. For me, it's NIU. Go through all of the welcome screens. And when you enter into the main area, you're going to want to click on your course. From here, you're going to be able to see a nice summary view of your course, including your grade, announcements, and everything else. To submit an assignment, you're going to want to go to Course Content. Click on the appropriate title within Course Content. For me, that is Quizzes. It may be Assessments for you. And then you will see your quizzes or your assessments where you can submit it. You can see that I have one attempt to do this assignment, and I can click at the bottom to start my attempt. I can add content and I can click on add a file. Allow it to access the files in your mobile device. And then choose the PDF that we have just created. You can see that it's at the very top for me. You can add multiple PDFs here, but you should make sure that you're following your teacher's instructions. One of the easiest ways to make sure that you submit it correctly is to submit only one PDF document. Then you should receive a confirmation email to your student account. You can see at the very bottom, it's going to say your file name, and this is a nice confirmation. All right, I hope this all helped. Reach out to your instructor with any questions.